Hello everyone, this is Pedro from Pythalista with one more video. I've done a few videos about Azure Functions. Actually, one of the, my most successful videos in my channel is from Azure Function. And today I'm gonna show you one type of function that is a blob trigger. So there are a lot of triggers that we can have in a Azure Function as you can see here from the list and so a function has to have a trigger without a trigger you don't have a function because that's what makes the function starts and you also have input and output which are not going to talk about in this video what are the scenarios that you would use a a blob storage trigger you can have a application let's say a web application where you do some image recognition and then you ask your user to upload a image to a folder and then you process that image and return like if you wanted to find something in that picture so that's a very good use case it can be in like in data engineering you have some files arriving in a folder that you wanted to process that data you wanted to merge or clean that data that's another scenario so it doesn't matter the scenario what i'm just gonna teach you here is how to get it started and with a few examples here and some tricks that i took a while to understand and sometimes documentation is not 100 percent clear and i'll explain where and when you see in a demo that's going to become very clear all right here is the uh the basic uh, boilerplate for your function. I'm using here Azure Function V2. So the V2 is available already. It's in uh, general availability. I have a video that I talk about it. it I'll put the link here uh, on top right or in the description, you can watch later. And I have other videos that I explain more thoroughly about function and how to do one, how to get started. So this is uh, another complement to the other video that I've done, but this one is only focused on uh, blob trigger. So let's get started without any other delay. So I have here um, VS Code. So the prerequisites for this, if you wanted to follow me. So VS Code, I have it running in my WSL. Ubuntu and I also have installed uh, functus so in another video I explain how to um, install it I put the link here but if you don't know how to do it, it's pretty simple you just go and look for um, Azure functus so I have here installed versions as far as uh, and also obviously you have to have Python installed in your machine so that's it so once you have all of that uh you just go here oh and also you have to have installed the azure extension and it, you don't oh you would need to have a azure uh subscription because we are going to create a storage account so that's the first thing that we're going to do so to create a storage account to do it so you go here microsoft azure and then create a resource and then you can search for uh, storage accounts and that's it and then you put um, create and I'm just going to create a new resource group called uh, Lista. at least a demo because I'm gonna delete when I finish here so the uh, start account will be Pytalista a demo uh, yeah I think it's available uh, in Australia I'll put standard I'll just put local labor down it because I'm just gonna do a, a quick demo um, uh, I'm just gonna put also a uh, hierarchical namespace. Uh, what's that? 
red. I don't like it. Yeah, yeah. And everything else. What? I'm missing. Oh, okay, this already. Oh, I don't think I can have this. Um, let's put a number here. Yeah, now it's fine. I don't have. I cannot have dashes. So let's put everything, and then I'll review. So uh, a hard name space local redundant. Yeah, let's just create that. That's gonna be pretty quick. So while it's creating, so let's go back here to my project. To start a new function, you click here on the extension, and then there is this symbol here, which is like a lightning bolt. And then you're gonna put create a new project, and then you're gonna choose the directory that you are in. And then you have to choose Python, obviously, and then I'll put v2, and that's it. I think that creates that boilerplate. And yeah, in terms of environment, I'm using Python 3.10, and then I'm writing um, blob trigger, that one. And I'm just gonna call it blob trigger, and my content, I can change that later. So that's the basic function. I'm just gonna close that. So I don't have the storage account yet. Let me just see if it's created. Yeah, it's been created, it's pretty quick. So from the storage account, uh, I'm going to get the connection string, that's important. I'm just gonna copy this. Uh, and then I'm just gonna go to my files here in local settings. And I'm just gonna create another key here called blob storage connection string. Um, and then the value, it's gonna be this value here. That's important. So save that. So the other thing that I need to know is the path to my container. And that's the trick part that took me a while to understand because often the scenario you wanted to just put a path to a folder and then you don't want to put a path to a static file. You wanted that to be dynamic. So you wanted to see everything that starts with .csv. So let's, let's do it. But before, let's create a container. Uh, I'm just gonna put, I call it Pythonista. And inside that, I'm just gonna create a folder called arriving files. Can be any name. All right, so now, the trick here is, I'm going to put that, but to make it more dynamic, let's say I want everything uh, that has got CSV. Right, so that's, I'm just going to check my cheat sheet here. Yeah, that's correct. So that's the path to that folder. And then the, the like the wildcard, if you like. And then I think that's the basic to make it happen. Um, yeah, so let's go there to the Azure storage. So let's start this and see if everything works. So to start your function locally, you either needs to have a storage emulator, which is Azure Eats, or connect to a Azure storage. In my case, because I've already created one, I'm just connect to um, that storage as well, because it, it creates like a queue in the background 
when you create this function. So on the host here, oh, not on the host, on the local settings, uh, can you see the Azure Blob Store is like empty? So you haven't defined yet, but don't worry about it. It's automatically uh, set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm connected here in Azure, my subscription, you should be connected as well to make that work. So let's go back here and then I have to press now F5. So when you press F5, so in order to proceed, you must connect storage account to a storage account or use your internal Azure function uh, time, a uh, runtime. Uh, I'm gonna connect to a storage account, which I created, and that's gonna be that one. And it looks like my function is working. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna upload a CSV file. I just need to find one on my computer here. All right, I found a CSV here. So I'm just gonna upload, browse, and then this is one of them. And then upload. So it's uploaded. Let's see if the function picked up. Yeah, can you see here? So it was really quick. So it arrived and my function got trigger, triggered. I'm going to split my screen. And then you, I'm going to delete this. And then add again. So uh, upload, browse files, car and upload can you see it's gonna be triggered here uh what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna stop this one and i'm just gonna run another program that's gonna just like fire uh those files and then i'm just gonna process and save in another folder so let's do this together uh let's test first the program that um loads to the storage account. All right, I have a basic program here that I've used that usually to create fake data. So what this program is doing, like it has got a function here called create sales records. Um, which pretty much create fake records like first name, last name, like uh, like in a database. And then that uploads to a folder and I'm just creating records here. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm just gonna um, bombard with like, let's say 20 files. And then uh, in every single file will have like 20 records. <clears throat> Let's put, um, let's say 20 times, and then I'm just gonna create this. Um, there. So let's see how it goes. Uh, if I open the storage account again, it's saving on the arriving files. Probably I'll split that into, not, not this one. I'll split that into two screens. Uh, I hate this window sometimes, it annoys me. Okay, and the other one will be the function. So let me just try to fit everything in one screen. And uh, this one I'm just gonna stop. Yeah, so let's run the function. And that function will kind of like execute like 20 times as files a file arrived there. So it's running. So if I run that program here, that's gonna just fire like 20 times. Can you see that files are arriving there? 
So if I go here and refresh, so all the files arrive. So 20 files. All right, so that's basically it. I hope you like the video. So if you have any questions and you wanted to uh, know more about it, just put in the description below. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Click the bell, like the video. Uh, I wanted to put more videos about Azure Functions. If you have any questions about Azure Functions or you wanna know more about uh, storage triggers, let me know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.